Another Pi Zero image for that cheap retro gaming experience? Sounds good to me. All right, here we go. Jake Stahl's 16 gigabyte Pi Zero image. And uh, let's check this one out. A new uh, creator wanted to share his work. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I mean, the Pi Zero has been a little hot, especially around the Christmas season because it's such a cheap gift to give at $5. And again, it's not necessarily $5, but you can get them all day for $15 online. And then once you get your controllers, things like that, you know, you're still looking at maybe a $50 investment. But if you have controllers, you have HDMI cables, you can definitely get these a little cheaper. With that said, though, it is really inexpensive retro gaming. And, I mean, let's see, does this have all games on it? I mean, you could just see that for a little 16 gigabyte SD card, um, you can, uh, let's put all games on back. Okay. Give this a second to populate. But you can just see that even with just 16 gigabytes of space, you can fit a ton of games on a uh, on 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 your Pi on your on your memory card. So there we go. Yeah, 4,549 games. There's no way in hell you're gonna get through all of these games. Um, you know, and and if you just concentrate on the games that you want, you can make a really cool uh, image. Okay, so there is no video snaps here. It is just pictures, which is actually good. Um, I'm actually running this on a Pi Zero right now on stock clock. So you can see that you know it's keeping up just fine. This is a fairly optimized uh, theme, and there's no like little add-ons like the video snaps, things like that. Now, of course, it's a little more baller, a little nicer, but you'll just notice that this is going to run much more smoothly. And to me, I'd rather have it run smoothly than have you know video snaps, for example, on a Pi Zero. This will run on a Pi Three as well. Uh, just looking at the arcade set really quick, scrolling through here, uh, just over 300. But it looks like it has all the good ones, which is cool. Uh, doesn't look like it has a lot of the fluff, you know, like the Majul games and things like that. Um, it looks like you have, you know, oh, but Metal Slug only you only have one and two. Mortal Kombat, you have three and two and one. Nice. Uh, Mortal Kombat Ultra 3 doesn't run that great. And it probably wouldn't run at all on a Pi Zero. So, um, looks like our type great game. Rampage. So a lot of a lot of good games. Let me lower the sound a little bit. And it has The Simpsons, nice. Oh, it does have Ultimate Mortal Kombat three. Uh, something he did say was um, that the Mame controls are not set up for this. So let's go ahead and launch this game. So it does have uh, loading screens. And this game's going to run laggy on the Pi 3 as well, so I don't have really high hopes for it on the Pi Zero. But I just want to show you the, um, yeah, it didn't even load. So if you do want to get your controls set up for the arcade, you will need to hook up a keyboard, press tab, and set up your controls right there in MAME, or go to the config file and change it for MAME. Uh, all the console games should run no problem from the controller configuration that you set up in the beginning of this uh, video in the config. So Atari 2600, you got 526, 7864, Link 76, Game Boy 475, Game Boy Color 385, Game Boy Advance 499, Nintendo 696, Super Nintendo 707, Sega Master System 273, Sega Genesis, not Mega Drive, which is cool, 351, 32X, you got 36, so really cool to see that. These will run, and if you overclock, they'll run even better. Sega CD, I'm not sure if these are gonna actually run, but let's go ahead and give it a roll. Okay, it's running pretty good. So, as you see, not too shabby. And uh, you can always um, run this on a Pi 3 as well. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so that's good to see. Um, you might notice that all the loading screens are, uh, let's finish this, uh, TurboGrafx-16 101, and that's it. All games, 495. And you can always add to this as well. Uh, you can do screen savers, game collection settings, uh, what I want to see. Oh yeah, the um, let's go ahead and check out the themes really quick. So showcase and carbon. So I think this image is actually probably pretty good for sh for carbon because as I was saying about the splash screens, is the splash screens are all carbon fiber, you know, uh, th um, pattern. So uh, 
that kind of makes a good universal image that you know the loading screens match the um, the theme. Now the other thing about carbon is it's just so fast. Like it's such a um, simple build. So as you see there, you go in, you got the carbon fiber. Uh, let's see if there's any bezels on here. I don't think there's any bezels, but uh, as you see, it's all carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is a cool theme, I think, especially for the Pi Zero because it is so optimized. Okay, so no um, no bezels, which is great, which is fine. So you can always add your own. So here you have it. Um, cool little Pi Zero, no BS. Uh, recent version of Retro Pi. Uh, the ROM sets look good. The arcade... Like I said, that would be the only biggest issue is you do have to set that up yourself. But some people might like that, that you can start from scratch. Um, you can also copy over your old config file from another image and just plop it into there. That might fix your problem if you just want to do that. Easy fix. No bezels. Uh, all the images are stock resolution, so you can mess with images and, and ratios and things like that all you want. You can't overclock. That's up to you. Uh, I definitely recommend a slight overclock, especially for the Pi Zero. But as you saw, it's running just fine as is. Um, missing some systems, but you know, it's got the majority here, so good on that. Um, that's all I got to say about this one. Overall, like it. Good to see more Pi Zero images out there, especially right around this time when everyone's getting new stuff for Christmas and gifting and things like that. So, thumbs up. Great to see new creators, new content. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we're going to catch you on the next one.